Hey everyone, Mike here today with some thoughts here on Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe. This game's really cool because it's a mix of a lot of different genres in one. And while there are other games out there that are kind of similar, this is sort of the first time I've really played one of these specific games. Having said that, there's not very many games like it, uh, which is why it's a pretty big standout game for me. Uh, so anyways, I'm not very far into it. However, I've seen a lot of people play this. I have a good idea of what the game looks like for the most part. But first, we're going to be doing some uh, early game tutorial stuff. I'm only about an hour in. This is kind of the final of uh, three different tutorials that we have access to at the beginning. As you make your way through story slash campaign. I'm just pointing that out because, yeah, it's uh, got a lot of different elements. So what it's showing you here is how to use some of these different pots to optimize recipes. Got different cooking pots here that are able to combine two in a row as opposed to three. So we're able to get some... Uh, higher ranking elements or meals compared to, compared to standard pots which only which require you to match three so i'm going to mount wild cards now that done out of the way and this one here i probably have Uh, one wild card. Be a little bit cautious here because I don't want to necessarily trigger something. At the guess, blue here. Or do I want the red? Red. The uh, the fire actually makes. So that'll give me a higher level fire. And then we'll do the, do the greens. And then we combine again. Oh, we solved it. We, we have to get a, a enough points. And so the higher level stuff to, to help. In this case here, this Straightforward thing. Fire ingredients. That out of the way. Combine green ones. And then. Uh, I, I messed myself up again. <laughs> uh, it's not the end of the world. What's important here is trying to maximize your score. And so there are three different kind of tutorials to play through. You know, as you do your first challenge, which I've already done, uh, then there's going to be this here's a second set of challenge that's coming up. Uh, and so we did the puzzle, we did the hunt, we did the restaurant job. Now we could choose who we want to challenge. Of course, you guys didn't see the restaurant or the hunting aspects, which you know, the restaurant gets you to play fast. The hunting is the combat portion, which is one of the different mechanics. And so if that guy doesn't want to challenge us. And look at the umbrellas here. Oh, we found a kitty. Hey, we got some money. Actually, probably a good idea to buy something before we actually enter combat. Uh, we could stun. Actually, that would be a good thing to get. And actually dodging past enemies also is a good thing for me. Alright, that'll help me out. And then, uh, what about this guy? Can we challenge him? Hmm. Alright. Well, that guy's being a cocky for us, but we'll see. 
Uh, I could trade off some mana. Oh, I didn't really. I had so many different items here beforehand. Anyways. Health. Yeah, let's stick with two health. Spatulas. All right. I think we're good to go. So let's give that a go. So this is going to be our first challenge. So the point of the game is you'll see at the very beginning, I'm going to run left. I'm going to hunt some ingredients. And then we'll do that maybe two or three times. And then we'll start cooking. Now you can bounce in and out, start doing stuff kind of at the same time. You know, if you're able to line up a bunch of ingredients, you can let them kind of cook and combine because there is a bit of a delay. And so that'll give you time to run out, do other stuff, or you could spend multiple dishes, different uh, cooking arrangements. But you got to be a bit careful because you don't want to back yourself into a corner and fill in your your dish and not be able to put more stuff in it. Um, but anyways, this is the second challenge, so it's still this is technically your third match, actually. But here we are, big tournament. We're competing against people trying to qualify and become uh, the best chef possible. I'm going to bun him through this a little bit because yeah, we don't have to sit down and read all of this either. But the important part here is we have one judge in this particular event. A judge here will want a certain flavor. She wants water, which are the blue icons. Fire are the red ones, earth are the green ones. So we want to try and focus specifically on water as much as possible. We want to try and avoid fire if possible. But we also have dragon meat that we'll try and get. I imagine that dragon is going to be a pushover. Let's go see if we can get that dragon. Uh, so we're going to start things off here with a little bit of combat. We're just going to slip by everyone. He is the dragon. Dragon. We did a bit of damage. Not much, but you know what? We'll we'll back out for now and I'll come back later. You you little silly bird. Leaving my ingredients. Come on. Okay. A lot of earthy stuff in that, so maybe not the ideal ingredient. Grid was also not an ideal ingredient for us, but we'll roll with it. Can't be just one thing either. Right here. All right, we got that dragon. Amazing. And I'll actually let that piece because I don't. Uh, I could definitely come back and get it later. That's not usually a problem. Throw some stuff in there. Oh. That's me. So yeah, there's there's different combat combos and stuff. There are light heavy attacks. There's also mana, which you have to be a little bit careful about. There's some dodging as well. Or Unfortunately, that dish only matches red. I'm gonna go in for a super optimal setup. Okay. Have other blue. Okay. This. We'll let them combine on their own real quick. I'll try and incorporate the dragon meat second as well, since that is also important. 
ingredient that they wanted. Uh, you don't always have to use the ingredients. You lose out on potential points, though. Obviously, it's in your interest to <laughs> use whatever they say they want. The so, uh... oops, that was really on my part. But we got the berries. Come back in here. Uh, these here and get mixing. And then I have to figure out how to use the dragons. Well, I guess I already technically shouldn't be too bad. Yes. I'll just skip through all this bubble here. Couple more. And usually you have to use all of the ingredients if they want something for it to really go. Uh, what can we do? Try and drop one of these in. Root. Try and squeeze in that dragon. And have a to do that. Off one combine. And I might have no. I might have backed myself into the corner, but no, actually. It does at the bottom. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's serve it. Not much time left. I could have maybe done a little bit better there. We'll see how it goes. Ideally, I would have liked to get that bone out because that's going to cost a little bit in points. Um, beyond that, the only thing I can think of. Yeah, the only thing it could have really done would have been sneaking just more ingredients there at the very end. Maybe not mixing them, but we're looking at her opponent, 114, that seems to be four. Yeah, and I think mine was 150, I believe, so this one. Got a lot of water. That's really good. And I actually didn't lose that many points. The iron stomach clenches another hard fought victory. Great. So yeah, that gives you an idea of what to expect out of this. Obviously, as you get further and further into the game, you start having more judges, you gotta do more plates. You also have more time to do things in general. And so some of these challenges get longer and longer. And so that's kind of the, the progression as well but there's a lot of story aspects as well which is really cool and yeah this overall is a really cool game uh, i appreciate what they've done i've had a lot of fun with it even though i'm not super far into it so far i don't want to get too far either but... uh with that all said and done it's Typically selling for around 20 US, standard price 22.79 Canadian. However, it's come down 80% off at times. So you can definitely wait for sales and find it for like $4 or 55 Canadian. So pretty steep discount for what is ultimately still a really fun, cool game. So anyways, I'll uh, end this here and see you guys next time.